If you are a professional videographer, I'm going to give you 10 reasons why the JH52 is the best camera for 2022. Check this out. What's up guys, Myung here from Camera to Freedom. So in 2022, we have so many video camera options out there. It's, it's amazing. We have the best of the best cameras. All the companies are competing with each other and our, the cameras are becoming just so awesome compared to when I started 18 years ago. Big cameras, you know, everything is very difficult to use. But nowadays, everything is just top of the line and it's just getting better and better every time. So I wanted to make a video where if my friend was to ask me, hey, I'm going to become a wedding a videographer I want to become a professional videographer I want to do it for business for work uh, and make some good money with it what camera should I get so this is of course all matter of opinion right and to be honest with you you know I got a bunch of different camera brands back there and I've tried you know all bunch of different brands and any camera will do the job Every single camera that's out there that's new from Sony, Canon, Nikon, Blackmagic, the RED, of course, the RED and all that stuff. But all those cameras, they do amazing work with video, right? But there are like small little things here and there that makes one camera better than the other, depending on your preference. It's totally a matter of opinion, but I'm going to give you 10 reasons why I think that the GH5 II is the best camera for 2022 all right reason number one unlimited amount of shooting meaning that it can shoot forever without any kind of limitations depending of course uh your memory card or your battery whichever runs out first it can run and film till that happens bunch of other cameras they have a limitation of like 25 minutes to 30 minutes so then when you're recording video at 30 minutes or at 25 minutes the camera stops recording. So you have to push the record button again or remember to push the record button again. I've been to events, I've shot events before, you know, concerts and things like that where some of my cameras had that limitation. And I've had cases where I would forget to hit the record button. So in that camera angle, I would lose out in some of the shots. The JH5 II doesn't have a limitation. I shoot a lot of seminars, Zoom events, concerts even weddings right a lot of things out there requires you to film hours and hours at end the gh52 can do that i put 128 gigabyte memory card in there uh battery runs for hours so then when i'm recording i could keep recording as a matter of fact i did a chef video shoot just last week and I have a dummy battery that's plugged into the AC outlet and then 128 gigabyte memory card. And I was able to shoot hours and hours of the chefs, you know, cooking and explaining and things like that. So that was really cool. My second videographer brought his Sony camera and we just had to always make sure that, you know, we had to work with his limitation of 25, 30 minutes of shooting. So there's, you know, so I love that about the GH5. Very important when you're filming long events reason number two this camera can shoot in 4k 60 frames per second without cropping in so nowadays a lot of the cameras can't shoot 4k 60 frames per second but um some of them crops in 1.5 amount so when you're trying to get that wide angle shot it will crop into a 35 millimeter kind of look so which kind of you know sucks a little bit i have one client that i shoot for dustin if you're watching this video that's you he only wants 4k 60 fps some of my cameras don't even shoot 4k 60 frames per second they're shooting at 4k 24 30 frames per second and some of my cameras that do shoot in 4k 60 fps crops in so then your wide angle becomes like a 35 millimeter and everything just looks a little bit more cropped in. Not a big deal. My client still loves that kind of look. But if you want to stay in your um, millimeter focal length, then JH52 can do that. Right, reason number three, it is very affordable. So this camera is less than $2,000 and the lenses are one third of the price if you were to get a Nikon camera, Sony camera, you know, Canon camera. So the price kind of adds up. 
let's say you were to get yourself a Sony camera, right? Sony camera, $2,500, and then you get its native Sony lenses, another $2,500. Now that's a lot of money just for a camera and a lens. And now it just keeps adding up, you know, more and more. There are affordable lenses, of course, for all those cameras made by the third party. But let's say you just want the best, right? So it just kind of uh, adds up. With the uh, GH5 II, the camera is below 2000 the native lens itself is 800, 900, 1000. There are some more expensive lenses, of course, but generally they are a lot cheaper. Okay, reason number four is that you, there are many options for lenses for this camera. So on top of all the Lumix and Olympus Micro Four Third lenses that's out there right now, they're still making new um, Micro Four Third lenses that just came out. For example, the 10 to 25 millimeter f 1.7 that's a zoom prime lens that's really cool and they came out with another one i think it's a 25 millimeter to 50 millimeter f 1.7 that i'm really excited about and i can't wait if to get my hands on it i asked my wife to get it for me for my birthday i hope she does i guess if i behave then she might hook me up with it uh, but there's just so many options uh with this uh camera that you can use so lens is definitely not uh, limitation for sure and one of the benefit of adapting an another lens to this camera is that this camera has a speed booster that you can get so if you were to get a f 2.8 your lens automatically becomes f 2.4 if you were to get an f 1.8 it automatically gets converted down to f 1.4 i think that's the uh um the increments that it goes down to but it improves an extra stop whatever lens that you put in so that's really neat that it can do that uh, reason number five that this camera GH52 is dope is that it comes with log V log with 12 stops of dynamic range uh, the older camera the GH5 which I absolutely love you have to actually spend an extra hundred bucks to get that into your camera but this thankfully it comes with V log and I love the V log it it, when you shoot in vlog and you just do a simple s curve um, color correction i just love the way the color looks it just has a very pastel look to it the sky color is a very pleasant blue skin tone is very nice so i really love the way that looks and you don't have to color correct too much into it just give it a little bit of you know higher highlights lower shadows and the color that it produces is just absolutely amazing Reason number six why I love the GH5 II for videographers is that it has audio limiter. So what that does is if you set that on, let's say you're recording something right now, just a couple of people talking and all of a sudden there's a big concert that just happens or just a loud noise that, that happens. Um, so instead of your audio just peaking and just you know getting all corrupted, it sets a limit. So if there's a concert, all of a sudden, it'll record up to the max level of the concert. And kind of like another device that does that, it's kind of like your iPhone. If you were to go to a concert and then record video, it does a great job recording the audio of the concert when it's super loud. When it's really quiet, it does a great job picking up the audio so you could capture you talking. So that's one cool technology that this camera GH5 II has that I absolutely love. Um, there isn't much cameras out there that has that. My Nikon Z uh, camera has somewhat of a limiter, but if still, if things got really loud, it'll still peak. But this camera does an amazing job just stopping it from peaking. You just gotta make sure you turn it on in the menu system. Reason number seven, it has an amazing menu system and information display. It's got vector scope, waveform, zebra patterns focus peaking and the newest thing that it has that i really love is the iso button i know this might seem silly but i was so blown away when you push the iso button normally you push the iso button with any other camera you push the iso button and you use the dial to increase it or decrease it all right that's just how it works with a lot of the uh, cameras out there on this one, it does that, but also, if you push the ISO button once and then push it again, it increases the ISO a little at a time. So, you could keep pushing it until it gets bright, right? So, the reason why this is so fun to use for me was that, for example, I just shot an event um, just last week. 
Uh, and if you turn to the left, it's kind of like dark in this area of the uh, the ballroom, right? And then if you turn to the right, it was very lit up because there's lights, the door was open. So the, the exposure is so different that every time I had to kind of like turn around, I had to change the ISO. So instead of, um, you know, push the ISO button and increasing the ISO with the dial, I would just, when I needed to be brighter, I would click, 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 and then it's bright. So, right, so that kind of made it really fun to um, use. I don't know what, what it is, but if you try it out, it's super fun. <laughs> just makes it kind of cool to just click, click, click. It's bright, <laughs> you know. And then of course you have to click, make it darker to shoot the uh, you know the brighter area. Anyways, little things, little details like that that the GH5 II has over the GH5 that just makes this camera it takes it to the next level it gives it an extra turbo boost to keep up with all the other cameras that's out there that's pretty awesome too but it definitely keeps up and goes beyond it we're almost done guys so reason number eight why i love this camera is that it could charge with a usb-c and i need this to run hours and hours the battery does last up to two hours when you're shooting video but i also have an external monitor with a battery an NPLP battery that's super cheap 25 bucks i'll put the amazon link below to get yourself one now what's so cool about this is not only does it power you know monitors and lights and all that stuff it's like a universal battery this also comes with a little usb connection right there look at that you could charge your iphone with it but best of all you have this on your monitor this is a monitor uh, an adapter by the way you have it on your monitor and you could plug this into the back and then you plug this into the USB cable and now you're using the battery power from this guy to this guy and then so then this will last about four hours uh, runtime on this camera and then once this runs out then of course it your battery inside will kick in for an extra two hours so it's amazing that you can just use this camera for a long period of time without losing power reason number nine why i love this camera the gh52 is that it has i think the very best ibis in body image stabilization six and a half stop it gets stabilized that much and it's it's so organic looking so i do have some cameras that has image stabilization but it tends to look a little mechanical sometimes right it there are times where you just it, it gets all jittery and it wobbles and it's okay. It's okay. It does the job. It does the job because before IBIS existed, we had to have our cameras on monopods and tripods. And that's just a few years ago. All of our cameras were on monopods and tripods when we were shooting weddings. But now a lot of the new cameras have IBIS and amazing uh, stabilization that you could just handhold your shots. It, you won't get the micro jitters. You could get it super steady if you're really good at it. And that's what I absolutely love about um, the GH52. The reason number 10, the reason why you need the GH52 in your life is that if you love anamorphic videos, then this camera is the one to get for anamorphic. So there's this anamorphic lens from Siri that they've released three or four anamorphic lenses. I have three of them. I'm not sure if they actually have a fourth one, but they're just making a lot of anamorphic lenses and they fit perfectly for this camera, Micro Four Third. And on top of that, this monster here is made for anamorphic. It gives you anamorphic options, such as you can shoot in 6K, 60 frames per second anamorphic. You can shoot, uh, it's got in-body image stabilization made for anamorphic lenses so now you could hold hand hold your shots you don't have to have it on a tripod it will stabilize your anamorphic shots um, it's got an ability to de-squeeze your video so you're not looking at it all distorted and warped you get to look at it on how it will look once you de-squeeze it in premiere or when you edit um, so this monster here is just made for this thing shooting videos for 18 years and loving that look just and never able to get that because if you wanted to get a film camera and a, an animal for lens they are eighty thousand dollars for the lens and a hundred thousand dollars for the camera this is it was crazy it was impossible 
but now they make it super affordable. This lens, I think, is like 800 bucks. I'll put the Amazon links below if you're interested in taking a look at these lenses or even purchasing them. I definitely appreciate you if you decide to use the link to buy anything. I love you for that. But yeah, I mean, if you want to have that movie look, I mean, come on, you got anamorphic lens, you got uh, 6K video shooting, it gives you log, you know, you're good to go. You can make some amazing video with this thing. So if you're like me and you make a living shooting videos for weddings and events and, and corporate and just anything and everything, music videos, concerts, oh my God, I shoot anything and everything to make a living. And it's always fun to just do all kinds of different stuff, right? Real estate videos, oh my God, the best for real estate video. All right, so one of the most important thing about the small lenses that the Micro Four Third has that is so beneficial is that, check this out, my favorite lens on a full frame is this 70-200 f2.8 lens. It's massive. It's I love the way it looks. I love the compression, the, the way the, the video looks, the, how blurry the background is. But with a Micro Four Third, look how tiny this thing is. I mean, this is so light. It's like a toy. I mean, it's crazy how small this thing is. So... When I show up to my friend's shoot and they got their, you know, Canon camera with this big old 7200 lens, I show up with this tiny thing and they're looking at me like, what do you have? I mean, I asked you to bring the 7200, what are you doing? <laughs> and I show them the final product and they're totally blown away by it. They can't tell the difference between this one and this one. There is a difference, of course, but, you know, for if you just like take a quick glance at it, it there you really can't tell, right? But... That's a whole different story to go uh, talk about. All right, so that is my 10 reasons why I think you should get the GH5 II for 2022 if you want to become a professional videographer. If you watch this all the way through, I thank you so much. I appreciate you big times. Um, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're interested in me just sending you, you know, tutorials and review videos and just kind of like, you know, get you to be part of this camera to freedom world, uh, go to camera to freedom.com and just hook me up with your email address and i'll just be sending you some cool videos here and there and information about videography photography drone and just all about camera stuff you know what i mean i've been doing this for a long time and i'm getting older and now it's time for me to just pass information down and hope that other people can learn and benefit from the things that i've learned so thank you so much i'll see you next time